Senator the Honorable Paula Gobiscoon, Minister in the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Mr. Calvin Bijou, Chairman of Creative TT. Mr. John Arnold, Chairman of Music TT. Ms. Dion McNichol Stevenson, Chairman Film TT. Ms. Melissa Jimenez, General Manager, Music TT. Ms. Leslie Ann Wills Caton, General Manager, Film TT. Distinguished guests, speakers, mentors, esteemed colleagues, ladies, gentlemen, and viewers. Welcome to the Reverb Experience, Reverb X, a three-day music conference dedicated to providing knowledge and networking to music professionals, entrepreneurs, musicians, and artists. Over the next few days, we will embark on a remarkable journey, a journey with this year's conference theme, In Sync. Throughout the conference, we will be privileged to hear from some of the most brilliant minds in the industry as they share their insights, experiences, and expertise. Reverb X is not just about learning, it's about connecting. Here we will find a vibrant community of fellow enthusiasts, artists, and professionals eager to exchange ideas, forge new collaborations, and nurture a connection, passion, that transcends boundaries. Through panel discussions, workshops, networking, event, networking events, and informal interactions, we encourage you to seize a, a great opportunity to engage with your facilitators and your peers spark conversations, and build lasting relationships that will continue to inspire long after this conference concludes. On behalf of Music TT, I extend my deepest gratitude to all our sponsors, speakers, mentors, attendees, and the dedicated teams that work tirelessly, to, work tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure that Reverb X came to life. Without your support, and commitment to the arts, this extraordinary gathering would not have been possible. So without further ado, we thank you for answering the call and meeting us at the X. Welcome to Reverb X. Woo. Woo. <laughs> and now invite Senator the Honorable Paula Gopiscoon, Minister in the Ministry of Trade and in Industry to give the feature. Thank you. Thank you very much. And and I apologize for sticking myself in first, but <laughs> it's the 50th anniversary of CARICOM. And I got a little chance to slip away and thought that I should just ask to speak and then leave. And I'm sure you'd be up to all of your um, interesting activities. So let me recognize the chairman, Calvin Bijou, who has always been so very supportive to, um, to his team at Creative TT. John Arnold is not here, but he will soon be here. He's the chairman of Music TT. Melissa Jimenez is, a, is the GM at Music TT. And all of the staff members from Creative TT that are here supporting, including as well as members of the music community, participants, uh, members of the media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all good morning. And really, it's a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to deliver um, today's feature address at the opening of Reverb Experience 2023, which, I'm, and which I understand is called Reverb X. <laughs> and this event uh, is testament of the ongoing work of the Trinidad Tobago Music Company, limited to build the local music industry and to establish Trinidad and Tobago as a powerhouse on the global stage, given our diverse musical talents. And programs and fora such as Reverb X provide our local artists with an opportunity to participate in targeted capacity building initiatives through the transfer of knowledge and experience by industry experts. Since the launch of Reverb X in 2021, the event has showcased 64 artists and engaged 87 international and local speakers spanning 45 sessions, and this is impressive. It has also been supported by 22 partner companies and attracted over 49,000 viewers from 32 countries. Really good. 
And these statistics are indicative of the very positive response of, um, to Reverb X since inception and the appeal of the music industry in facilitating economic diversification and transformation. According to the International Federation of the Photographic Industry, in 2022, the global recording music industry was valued at 26.2 US million dollars, US billion dollars. And this represents a growth rate of 9% compared to 2021, driven by the increase mainly in paid subscription streaming. It is also anticipated that revenues from the global recorded music industry will rise exponentially to about 53 billion US dollars by 2030. So you must be able to be part of that. Based on the economic attractiveness of the music industry globally, the government through the Ministry of Trade and Industry has identified music as a priority area for further development. And accordingly, um, Reverb X is evidence of government's ongoing commitment in building talent and export capacity in the industry. And this year, the conference headlines um, several influential speakers, including renowned producer, Philo K okay, of Nigeria. And he was here recently as well, I recall, uh, participating in film. Yes, and creative director and producer, Jai C., uh, who hails all the way down under Australia, and distinguished university scholar Dr. Joanne Tull from Trinidad and Tobago. Is she here? Not yet? Okay. The Ministry of Trade and Industry is absolutely delighted that these prominent speakers are able to come to our shows and be here with us to share their invaluable knowledge to the um, industry. In addition, ReverbX will feature an infusion of distinguished uh, panelists from recognized local music organizations and academic institutions, such as Pan Trinbago and their hair, the Copyright Organization of Trinidad and Tobago, Musical Instruments of Trinidad and Tobago Company Limited, or Steel Pan Manufacturing Firm, as well as the University of the West Indies and the University of Trinidad and Tobago. And the invaluable contribution of this cast of speakers is representative of the influence of Reverb X 2023. The ministry is impressed by the theme of this year's conference, In Sync which highlights the key areas of investment in music, music and film, and synchronization opportunities. And these are trending issues globally in the music industry and really presents lucrative economic opportunities for all of our local artists. Reverb X will also showcase high quality local entertainment, for which there is no shortage, at the conclusion of each day by talented vocalists, including Collis Durante, college boy Jesse, and Mikal Tejia. I call out the them, but I tell you I belong to another generation, and I would <laughs> really like to hear from them. And during the conference, participants can also benefit from really enthralling discussions on the economic benefits of investing in music. And speakers will discuss relevant topics, including alternative sources of funding for music projects, the development of public-private partnerships to facilitate a thriving music ecosystem, and adopting festivals as a catalyst for investment in music. Focus will also be placed on the recent success of Korea's um, K-pop boom and the rise in popularity of Nigeria's Afrobeats as practical and contemporary case studies. The conference will identify the key elements in these success stories and explore the possibility of creating linkages and partnerships between Trinidad and Tobago and these countries. And only yesterday, we I would have participated. I was very fortunate to join Honorable Prime Minister in a bilateral um, meeting with the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister of South Korea. Uh, and of course, we talked about deepening cooperation. And I'm sure it's more than just energy and trade and other ways in development cooperation and so on. But we see certainly linkages in the cultural area, and particularly now with Korea's K-pop. So that's something that we will put on the agenda. And in keeping with this theme, the conference will also explore opportunities for the use of music in film, which is an exciting and rapidly growing field for songwriters, for composers, arrangers, producers, and recording studios. And today, music is an essential component in film, and this enhances the viewing experience and creates an emotional connection with the audience. Discussions will clinically dissect different aspects of music in film, such as composing, arranging, and producing music for film, the role of music super supervisors, the use of music in storytelling, and the impact of music on the box office. 
And given the expertise of the industry professionals at the event, it is expected that the knowledge gained by our local artists will equip them with the necessary understanding and the tools to become globally attractive entertainers. So Reverb X will also deep dive, take a deep dive into the concept of synchronization opportunities, which refer to the use of music in various media, such as film and commercials and video games. And as a result of the increasing demand for quality content, the use of music for synchronization has mushroomed into a very lucrative market. And so again, the research led to data from the Global Music Sync License, Licensing Report 2022. So it is said that sync licensing opportunities accounted for more than US $1 billion globally in revenues annually. And given the economic viability of sync licenses internationally, this niche market continues to be a priority for stakeholders from our local music industry and all of those involved in animation and gaming and so on. And with the, proliferation, with the proliferation and popularity of streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon and uh, Disney, X, Disney Plus and HBO Max and others, there's this ever increasing demand for high quality episodic content. And these platforms cater to a global platform uh, audience, thereby highlighting the value of creating TV series, not just for local and regional consumption, but for international audiences as well. And sync licenses therefore create the potential for greater monetization of the output of our artists, which will redound to an expansion in trade in services. Indeed, Trinidad and Tobago has benefited already from sync licensing opportunities from as early as 1989, and I can identif identify with these. Where David Rudder's song, Dark Secret, was featured in the famous Hollywood film, Wild Orchid. And there were more recent um, examples of sync opportunities by our local artists. Lord Kitchener, if you're not white, you're black, Netflix. And that's in Netflix Strays in 2023, and also HBO's Minx in 2022. Free Chung Collective in, used in music for Laveway 2022. Marcus Brave Boy used in uh, Netflix's uh, Fast, and, Fast and Furious Spy Racer 2019. Didn't know that. Ola Tunji, Ola Tunji Yearwood. Oh yeah, uh, used in Netflix's See You Yesterday in 2019. And let's see where Engine Room can take him. Yeah? And um, Aaron Duncan, can you feel it? In Netflix's Dolphin Kick in 2019. Fabulous. And these are some of the successes of our artists in receiving sync licensing opportunities. And it's not only evidence of the recognition of our music abroad, but it also signals Trinidad and Tobago's potential as a recognized player in the global music industry. And the inclusion of our local music in film also facilitates the creation of a high value added output across different media channels and platforms leading to greater exposure and marketing opportunities. It also forges linkages with the diaspora in other countries through the promotion of our local culture and creativity. So the opportunities presented here today and this next few days via this conference are also in alignment with the government's intent on developing the music industry. And accordingly, uh, the Ministry of Trade and Industry through Music TT has already implemented a series of strategic capacity building programs and to support and to develop our world-class artists. These include initiatives such as the Artist Development um, Portfolio Development Program, which is known as Spotlight, the Music Export Academy, and also the Live Music District. Um, hundreds of artists have benefited from these programs. I'm not surprised if it, there would be more than a thousand. And through this support, they have become globally recognized performers, creating opportunities for employment and revenue generation. Given the success of capacity building programs within the creative industry, the Ministry of Trade and Industry is absolutely pleased to be part of yet another edition of ReverbX. We also wish to recognize the sponsors, to recognize the partners as well for their roles in harnessing the potential of our artists and being part of this initiative. This type of support from government that builds the industry is reflective of the Reverb theme, Meet Us at the X. And this serves as a clarion call to action, be, uh, beckoning stakeholders from the music community across the region 
and the rest of the world to join with Music TT as we develop a globally competitive music industry. The ministry again, finally, takes the opportunity to extend congratulations to Music TT for hosting this signal event in our music calendar. We recognize all of our local music stakeholders for participating in this very transformative conference. And of course, we look forward to the insightful discussions and the presentations over the next few days, as well as the exciting performances by the cast of gifted artists that are all be featured at this year's experience. So I thank you, and I really wish you all an enjoyable few days. Thank you very much. Thanks again, Minister. We really appreciate your support in Reverb X and all the programs that we have. <laughs> now I'd like to invite Creative TT's chairman, Mr. Calvin Bijou, to give some remarks. Thank you. Hi, good morning, all. I'll just wait until our minister has. That's okay. So I don't have to say, welcome the Honorable Senator. <laughs> but I said it to her as she came on. Yeah, hi. So, um, so good morning. And uh, of course, uh, welcome to Ms. Dion McNic McNichol Stevenson, Chairman, Film TT. Dion, I know I saw you. Oh, right. Oh, you're in the back there. Uh, Ms. Melissa Jimenez, General Manager, Music TT. Ms. Leslie Ann Wills Caton, well, uh, General Manager, Film TT. Our esteemed academic institution, heads of music organization, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, to our viewers online. What a pleasure it is to welcome us all. And um, I really have no speech. I just really only have uh, this part here. All right? Uh, so yeah, so I, I, I'm going to do what, what, what is typical be authentic. Um, first off, Melissa, I would really love to extend congratulations to you and your vision. And I'm just going to ask if we could give Melissa a, a round of applause. Um, I actually get to masquerade as knowing some things. But um, Melissa, I just want to put on record, as I do with our GMs, but your vision for music um, which today is reflected in terms of reverb. And if I remember correctly, this, was, this probably would have had its genesis in 2020. 2021 is when we made, and of course we all know what was happening in 2021, right? COVID. Um, but in the darkness, something emerged as absolutely beautiful in Reverb X. And I love the theme that is chosen in sync. Yesterday, I had the pleasure and privilege of presenting what we do to the commercial officers and the cultural attaches who are now uh, positioned all over the world. And I must say, um, the excitement and interest shown for what we have accomplished and seeking to accomplish, because it's a road to travel, um, particularly in music uh, and the vision that we're bringing, really onboarded our partners there. I think that they had an, an amazing appreciation, not just to what we want to accomplish, but the how, the strategy, in terms of the way that we're doing it. Today is really, to a large extent, operationalizing the strategy, right? Reverb X in sync is really about how we bring in the market, the technology, the talent, the hopes, the dreams, the optimisms, the history, um, what I call our unique value differentiators, what it is that we can uniquely bring to a market and to a place. And this is really the synthesis of it. So over the next three days, we have the pleasure of being able to share, um, learn, grow, contribute, um, take away from some of the best minds uh, in the industry. And it is my simple pleasure to say welcome again. But Melissa, it is also my pleasure to hand over to you as I now run out of ideas in terms of what next to say. Um, but really, it is a warm welcome to us all and I look forward to meeting you in individual capacities. And to our viewers online, I hope that you continue to enjoy the experience in the X place. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chair. And I am going to be that person to say all protocols observed. Um, 
sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so we kind of put our um, creative TG chairman here woo -hoo -hoo, in a position to just wing it. Um, my chairman was supposed to speak. He was here earlier, but unfortunately, he had to run away to attend to something really urgent. So welcome to all of you. Um, can I just borrow your protocol paper there for one second, somebody? <laughs> right. I also want to recognize in the room our esteemed academic institutions that were invited here today. I see all the faces in the audience. Um, heads of our music, different music organizations, and of course the members of the media, because I know we have heads of governments going on. You all did not have to be here, so thank you very much for deciding to show up. <laughs> Right, so welcome to the opening of the Reverb Experience Music Conference. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to stand here before you as we embark on this very exciting journey, a journey that has us bridging gaps between the continent and the Caribbean. Thanks greatly to our major sponsor, Hyphenate Global, Mr. Fellow Oki, and I was practicing this name whole night till I went on sleeper. I hope I get it right, Mr. Solomon Shania. Ay, ay, ay! Listen. <laughs> So the Reverdex Music Conference is quickly growing into a remarkable platform that brings together the brightest minds, passionate artists, visionary entrepreneurs, and industry leaders who are sharing a common love for music. This year, the conference aims to delve into the themes of music in investment, synchronization, and music in film. And these themes are ever evolving our music industry. As we know here, particularly in the Caribbean, we live on live music. So live music took quite a hit during these past forsaken three years that we had to endure staying behind closed doors and getting hives from staying inside and all of that jazz. So they had no choice but to now look at different revenue streams, right? And while sync existed long before that, um, they, they now actually had to hone in and focus on, okay, what are these alternate streams that are available to us that does not require our physical presence to perform, right? Um, a lot of my speech, the minister kind of covered, so I am not going to go into half of what I had written down here. But other than I would like to express again my heartfelt gratitude um, to our esteemed speakers, sponsors, and partners who have made this conference a reality, your unwavering support, we appreciated the dedication to the music community. We have sponsors that have been with us for 43 years. This is our third year. So for the three years consistently, so we thank you. I would also like to acknowledge our other international speakers, Mr. Al McLean, Mr. Femi, wait, this was another name I was practicing whole night. Um, Oyiniran, is that it? Oyiniran, ah, yeah, yeah, okay, I get it too. Um, Godwin Tom, who will be joining us virtually. Uh, JC, who is hidden in the, oh, he reached to the front. All right. Shane Shapiro, who will be joining us virtually as well. And of course, all of our local speakers who are very many and very extensive for me to list out here. Um, but the minister did mention a few of them in her speech as well. So finally, to all of the attendees, those of you watching online that will be joining us at one o'clock American Standard Time today, um, thank you for joining us. Your presence signifies your commitment to your art form. I really do hope that you learn something over these three days. And besides learning, I don't want you to be those conference bantons. So you know in the Caribbean, especially in Trinidad, we have um, workshops here, conferences here, this day, and the same faces attending everything. Yes, the needle not moving. Because they're just gathering information because they love to be there for the adrenaline, and then they stop. We, don't, we want to break that cycle with reverb. We want you all to continue to do. We want you all to take the knowledge that you've gained from these three days and actually put it into practice. And I will be that annoying person behind you once I know the projects that you're doing to make sure that that comes to fruition in some way or the other. So thank you very, very, very much for joining us. Um, I am now going to pass on to the film TT's general manager, Miss Leslie Ann wills Caton. <laughs> Thank 
kidding. I'm kidding. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay, to Chairman of Creative TT, Calvin Biju, to the Chairman of Film TT, Dion McNichol Stevenson. Where is Dion? Oh, Dion, you're hiding. To Melissa Jimenez, the General Manager of Music TT. I will not touch that. To fellow K, okay, the one of the main partners for Reverb X. To our invited guest, to Lynn from UE. Who else? To Richard Raghavar Singh, our recent showrunner for Mixed Up. And to all of you all being here, thank you so much. I'm seeing C15 in the room as well. So welcome and good morning, Nairon from the ministry. Good morning. Hi. Good. I'm seeing faces. It's, it's a different perspective of here. All right, so are you feeling the rhythm yet? That, my friends, is the heartbeat of our beautiful twin island, Trinidad and Tobago. It's a rhythm that resonates in our films and sings in our music. A rhythm that will, over the next three days, bring us together in creative harmony. Welcome and thank you for joining us at this exciting conference. A one-of-a-kind fusion of our island's rich cultural heritage and the creative magic of music and film. I see a room full of visionaries, filmmakers capturing the essence of the human spirit, musicians translating emotions into melodies, artists painting the world with colors of imagination, and investors, C15, making these dreams possible. Today we are not just in a room, but on a collective journey, voyaging across the fascinating landscape of Trinidad and Tobago's music and film. We'll dive into the synchrony of sight and sound, exploring how our music sets the tone for our narratives, creating an atmosphere that grips the audience and pulls them into our story. We listen to the untold stories that our music whispers between lines, enhancing the emotional depth of our films. Melissa, you are not only a representative of Music TT, but also an advocate for the boundless creative potential of Trinidad and Tobago. This initiative would merely have been a fleeting thought without your insight, dedication, and passion for bringing music and film together. You are a true champion of our culture and creativity. On behalf of everyone here, of course, Film TT and the film industry, thank you for your partnership and invaluable contribution. Next, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thanks to fellow K. I had the privilege of meeting fellow on a mission in Nigeria, where I was introduced to his extraordinary vision and passion for collaborating between our nations. His commitment to fostering global partnerships has been instrumental in making this event a reality. Fellow, we are immensely grateful for your partnership and for the bridges you've helped build between our creative communities. Thank you. So as we embark on this adventure, let's remember to have fun. Because at the end of the day, what is film and what is music? If not a celebration of life, emotion, and human connection. So here's to the next three days of discovery, inspiration, and creativity. And remember, in this room, we're all stars. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to Dance of Music and Film. And welcome to Reverb X. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie, and that was a beautiful, beautiful speech indeed. <laughs> On behalf of Music TT, I would like to express the excitement for the remarkable journey that lies ahead. May you take every opportunity to learn, network, and grow from all that Reverb X has to offer. I would now like to introduce one of our spotlight artists, Emmanuel Joseph, who will close with one of the songs that's actually being pitched for sync. It was also produced by JC, who is here with us today. <laughs> and he is also one of our Reverb X speakers. So thank you very much for coming here today. <laughs> 